it took us two years fighting with the city because the city of Coconut Creek didn't allow tattoo activities in Coconut City and they still don't allow tattoo shops. They only allow like 15%, 14% within your shop, inside your uh, barbershop or salon. If you do a micropigmentation or how do you call this? Microblading. Microblading stuff mm -hmm. or tattoo, it only allows 15% in a shop means that you have like a spot there, like a, a, a little a room or suite that you can rent, you can work the way you want it. They only allowed that because uh, for two years we fought with the city to be able to be licensed. Like, like, can you explain that? License. License to do license tattoos. License to do tattoos. So we were the first, first barbershop, the first company in Coconut Creek allowed to have tattoo inside the, the inside the shop, shop inside inside the company so basically the we had to change the city laws mm -hmm. so we had the fight with the landlord regarding the tattoo he didn't want to and then he finally accepted and then after we opened the shop we're looking for an artist to join our team and then when we finally found the artist and we mm -hmm. went to the city to do the whole process because it involves health department, involves the city. So there's a whole thing you have to deal with it, right? For to two years, we had meetings in front of the but mayor. But before and that, the we actually went there to get the license. And then the city said, nope. I said, how do you, what do you mean, no? No, you're not allowed to have tattoo. And I said, how come? This, the activity of tattoo is prohibited in Coconut Creek. There is no way you can ever have a tattoo if artist. If someone was doing back then, they it were was doing illegal. illegal. It was against the yeah. law. And then I was like, what? Why? Yeah, that's the law. You can't. And then we were so sad because we found the artist. And that was my dream. To that have. was your dream. And then we had this big no, and there is no way you can get it. Okay. As I said, God always aligned things the way it should be. Um, we had the pleasure of meeting the mayor of Coconut Creek, and he became our client. And Same one day, yeah. Tico was telling him um, his plans to have the tattoo, but he couldn't. So we're figuring out what we're going to do with the room, if we're going to do something else, maybe other services or whatever. And then he's like, how come you can't? And Tico said, yeah, there's a law. And the mayor's like, mm, I'm going to look into it. And then he found that it, the law exists and it would be very beneficial to other business owners to be allowed to have the tattoo service. Because as he said, microblading, scalp micropigmentation, um, anything related to the tattoo was prohibited. So he put a project to be voted and it was a long process. He advocated for us. He advocated for us. We had to go there in front of the commissioners, the mayor, vice mayor, everybody, and explain the benefit of changing that law and the way they changed this, allowing the service tattoo to be performed. There's a lot of restrictions. There's a lot of, you know, rules you have to follow, but it is allowed now because of us. You only have to get a permit, right? Um, there is more involved because more involved, it involves the yeah. health department. But now the city of Coconut Creek will allow tattoo. There's a lot of, of course, rules and regulations, specific businesses that can have that service done. But it will, it only happened because of us because we we're trying to do something new. And at the end, the whole city is is now able. All the business owners that qualify, since we have a shop. Uh, barbershop or hair salon or med spas, they can offer microblading and tattoo services. So we are very positive because we are always like go after and fight for it. Correct. We had to fight big fights throughout these um, six years, right? Even for the, the beer on tap to have a beer, uh, have to serve, beverage, alcohol, to serve right? alcohol, because once I we spoke to the city, I think they said you, you're not allowed. And then I told you, you're going to say, no, nope, you're not going to have beer there because you're not allowed. And I say, no, I'm going to find a way. I always do that, right? Yeah. There was a way. So everything's possible. That's what I said. And I had this lawyer. He, w he was my client back then. He was a friend. And I called him and say, I'm going to check that in for you. And he checked. And we... There was know. no restriction. So we could. It was just the city that was being hard on us saying yeah. no you cannot have it yeah. but we actually could so we started the process of the license 
involves other departments and everything, health department, DBPR, but we were allowed. And now, uh, not since the first year, I think 2017, we have beer on we tap. Beer we on can tap. serve beer on tap and wine, and it's all the right way. Meaning, we have the license, we have the insurance, we have the whole permits and everything. So we're doing the right way. But imagine if we just gave up and like, oh, they up. said no. Uh -huh. So we're fighting a lot but of fights. Yeah, dream would fail if we just accept. Yes. 